The USDA National Campus is the training ground for the top American tennis players. Some are seasoned veterans, others up and coming juniors. But here in Lake Nona, it's not just the able-bodied players with dreams of hoisting a US Open trophy. The campus is also hoping to develop the future stars of wheelchair tennis. Wheelchair tennis isn't new anymore. It's been around 40 years. I think once we came here to the campus, and that's 2016, this is our first really strong opportunity to collaborate in a way with departments at the USDA that we never could before. I think growing wheelchair tennis from the ground up is really important to us. It seems like the last couple of months, the stars are aligning just with sponsors coming on board, getting a lot of interest with about players and just gaining that interest, it's, it's really exciting. Mackenzie Solden is the first full-time wheelchair athlete to be training at the facility. She already has a Paralympic gold medal in basketball and hopes to achieve the same success in tennis. I think for me, being at this campus is really, really helpful. Being able to support the training and support eventually the tournament play and travel and things like that, I get access to all of these things and it's awesome. Whether it's our coaching staff now, whether it's Dr. Lauer in mental skills, strength and conditioning, nutrition, massage therapy, she has access to everything anyone here would have. A lot of our national coaches have volunteered a little bit along with Jason to work with her and they love working with her. Work ethic, professionalism, every quality that exemplifies Team USA. Mackenzie can maneuver the ball pretty well uh, with slice, with drop shot, with more spin than most of the wheelchair athletes that I've seen. So I think that variety is really going to help her ascend. Chris Herman is a full-time student at the University of Florida, majoring in economics. He has dreams of making it to the Paralympics in Tokyo in 2020. You see the top able-bodied players here and it kind of motivates yourself. I see what they're doing. I want to mirror them because I want to be a professional tennis player. Chris has got everything he's going to need. It's just a matter of being, like all athletes now at 20, bigger, faster, stronger. And I think coming here to the campus is really going to bode well for him. Chris and McKenzie are just as determined as any other able-bodied athlete that trains on campus. Coaches and players alike have taken notice and are anxious to learn from one another. It's really just enriched everything that we do. Getting some perspective, not just for me and our coaches, but also for our players. It creates a realization that there's many athletes out there preparing to be their best, and some of them are in a wheelchair. So for them to be playing next to Madison or, you know, again, Noah or Tommy and get to see what they're working on day in and day out here, I think it's having a really positive effect. It's just as professional as regular tennis. We work as hard, we train as hard, and it's fun to watch. We're the same. We have different circumstances. That's the only difference. It's about the choices that you make and what you do with it. And if you're an athlete, you're an athlete.